Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be covering pay to play. <laughs> yes! If you haven't heard of pay to play, then you obviously don't play Pixel Worlds, because pay to play and Pixel Worlds are like two super glued puzzle pieces, you can't have one without the other. And if I haven't made it obvious already, I really hate pay to play. I hate it with all my heart, I really, really hate pay to play. If you don't know what pay to play is, it's basically gambling in a kid's game. I'll give you the Google definition now. Pay to play is a phrase used for a variety of situations in which money is exchanged for services or the privilege to engage in certain activities. So if we look at that in the perspective of Pixel Worlds, two people are basically paying a host bike coins to host a game for a chance to win the other person's bike coins. So it's a bit like a wager or something like that, or a bet. So just for an example, if I paid a host like, I don't know, 250 bike coins, and then another person also paid the host 250 bike coins, me and that other person could do a game of skill or chance to determine who gets all 500 bike coins. But you know what? No! That's not the full story. Because hosts ain't gonna do this stuff for free. Oh no no no. They put tax on each of these bets, so it could be like, I don't know, 10% or something. And if I won a bet, the host would take 50 byte coins and I would take 450 byte coins of the total of 500 byte coins that could be won. That's basically pay to play in a nutshell. But wait, no, that's not it. Because for whatever reason, people pay other people like the world owner to become a host. What? Why? They pay stupid amounts of bike coins, something like 10,000 to become a host to get some measly little tax bike coins. That's a lot to pay for such a little reward. You're not even guaranteed to get the bike coins that you put in back. It's like a giant pyramid scheme of trash and people actually buy into it. But you know what, the reason I hate it is because you're setting yourself up to lose. If your host has a tax of like 10% on all bets and wages, I'm pretty sure you have like a 60% chance to lose bike coins and a 40% chance to gain bike coins if you're playing more than one game. So that's, that's pretty bad. You're statistically going to lose profit and yet people still participate in this stuff. Like literally, there's so much better things you could do with your life. Go touch grass or something. And then it gets even worse. What happens when you pay a host like 100,000 bike coins in a big bet and then they just up and leave? It's just like, hey, hey, goodbye. Thanks for the bike coins. Sure, if you record it, you can like get the host banned after. You can send it to a mod, but you're never going to see those bike coins again. They're gone. So, you know, that's just another reason to not play pay to play. Like you can literally just mine and get more profit. But at the end of the day, if you're the kind of person who likes to encourage young impressionable kids into lifelong gambling addictions, where the only way to go is down into an endless pit of misery and suffering, then you do that. I don't care. Sorry about that giant rant. I just had some stuff to get off my chest. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. Discord links in the description. And I am out.